Hello everyone, this is MoneyGain101 and today I will be talking about Dojo Swap airdrops. Dojo Swap ju just this announcement today and just made me bullish, all time high, <laughs> bullish. I so I felt like I had to uh, make a video about it. It's actually about the airdrops. <laughs> there is five airdrops. Now they made an airdrop yesterday, the Punk airdrop, and I'll be talking about it. So in this video I will talk about uh, the airdrops. And I will put the timing too, so you can skip if you don't want to listen to each like what each airdrop is, and which one I'm the most bullish on. At the end I will talk about my strategy with my Dimensions token because I sell, sold some and I kept some. That's my what I'm to do in this video and i hope it's not gonna take too much time to make it short to have five airdrops on february and we might get five more airdrops on march um those airdrops are tokens of uh, some projects and i will explain those and uh, here's a, a giveaway too from dojo swap team uh, about 500 dollars and i know i said i will do a giveaway and i didn't uh, i don't have much time <laughs> i will do it soon hopefully that was my giveaway from the other series from DFK. The injective ecosystem is just cooking right now. Something something crazy is going on. So Kage has this new features, uh, sniping and set buy sell limit. I think they gonna they will be launching it. And then I got a uh, hundred dollars worth of Kage today just from the airdrop. I didn't think that it will be that much. Kage Finance uh, is kind of the bull bank in injective and i think they are tr making it even better than boban so you guys can just come to the telegram you don't need to invest yet just come to the telegram um check it you can also try it um i have my kage injective in here i staked my um kage in this bot i already explained everything about it before you just go trade you do quick trades with your phone or computer whatever whatever you use this is a good but to make trades especially with the new feature they are um, having but you need to have like 10 I'm not sure how much Kage I think 10k I'm not sure but you need to stake them in order to get the benefits of the upgrades some features if you're interested um, my link is in the referral uh, in the description so you can just click on it and then you will get access to this but and then you can start let's make things shorter I will start actually so the five airdrops were punk and will be Bits, Frog, Boys, and Baby Dojo. So, Punks was airdropped yesterday, and also, also, please, I made a mistake. Uh, I wasn't qualified because I moved some of my farms while in the snapshot. Don't do the same mistake. I missed on this, but that's that was fine with me. I had some uh, money on the side. I was like, I bought some Punk, and I will explain more about it. So, what is Punk, actually? Um, I did some research, and I will be reading it. I guess. So uh, uh, Destiny Punks is a collection of NFTs with a planned ecosystem built around them. You can just go to the to their website and you find all the information there. Um, token, tokenomics, the roadmap, um, whatever, who's, who are the founders and everything. And also you go every time, make it a habit. You go to Twitter to see they have 16,000 followers. It's a decent amount for a project make it have it go to twitter see if they are active all that stuff do your research don't come listen to me and then go by right or don't participate in those just list by listening to me i'm just like summarizing stuff i might be missing money that's totally fine the project aims to create a thriving community through collaborations tokenomics and ongoing development the nfts the minting details are it like they did it Owning an NFT grants access to airdrops, which is one of them. So when you get this NFT, you get an airdrop, which they get like 6,000, I think, bucks, just by having the NFT, and some staking opportunities and potential whitelist privileges for future releases. Punk is the main token of the ecosystem, launched on Injectives, DojoSwap, Dex. Um, it will benefit from revenue sharing, buybacks, and burns, potentially increasing its value. Holders gain access to staking, governance potentially, and exclusive opportunities so just by holding punk you can get different uh, things so the roadmap includes like website launch collaborations staking and there's a comic release coming burning of injective token and a mysterious element hints at future sur surprises that's what i got from the information of course you can just go and find it yourself that's for punk 
second now the next one so if you want it you can buy it go to swap and then you find it swap bunk tada and you get it now next orbits bits go to the website twitter too and then you see it for yourself make it a habit to check to do it go and follow them also if you are oh did i follow i'm not sure <laughs> i was just checking and then i probably forgot to follow some that's orbits what's orbits you can read all the information here and from their website on twitter too Orbits project is a community driven project focused on building a decentralized ecosystem powered by the bits token the project aims to provide users with exposure to various various DeFi opportunities on the injective protocol through collaborations with existing DApps, future whitelist spots, and community initiatives. BITS is the native token of the Orbits ecosystem. It will be used to incentivize participation in the ecosystem and provide holders with governance rights. The tokenomics are designed to be fair with no pre-sales, insider allocations, or BS. I'm not sure what BS is. <laughs> Orbits is a collection of 8,888 unique NFTs on the Injective blockchain. Owning an Orbits NFT grants holders access to exclusive benefits within the Orbits ecosystem, such as early access to new features and products, governance rights, discounts on fees, and more. Orbits is a combination of like DeFi project and NFT project at the same time. And the Bits token is the utility token of the DeFi ecosystem. So that's for now the only use that I got from it. Unless if I'm, please correct me. While the NFTs provide access to exclusive benefits within the ecosystem, the project is still in its early stages, but it has the potential to be a major player in the DeFi and NFT space. Now, Frog. Frog is kind of interesting, actually. I did this uh, summary of each project and I'm just reading them <laughs> for you. So you go to the website, you go to Twitter, you follow them, there are 6,000 people. This video is insane, How, I, you, you guys need to see it. I will show it to you. And of course, you can just skip if you are not, not interested. Let me explain more about what Frog is. The Injective Frog's NFT collection ecosystem is a group of people who are creating a new cryptocurrency called Frog. The Frog started with no money and no artist. Now we are going to history. But the community loved their 32-bit art and bought out their first collection within hours. Now they are giving back to the community by dropping frog tokens to all holders. This is in the video. So the frog token is the main token of the Injective Frog's NFT collection ecosystem. It will be used for purchasing raffle tickets in the Injective Raffle, betting on frog-themed 8-bit games, purchasing whitelist and OG spots of new NFT projects and in real life event tickets. It's just like spending it on raffles and get something with low price. That's what a raffle is. But the Injective Project is a community driven project that's focused on giving back to its holders. The project is still in its early stages. It's very early, but it has a lot of potential. Here are some additional things that you may have missed. No, no, no. The Injective Frogs project is based on the Injective Protocol, which is cross-chain cross derivatives exchange protocol. I'm excited just because of this video. This art looks insane. You guys can just go uh, watch it if you want. Next, next is the boys. Bro, I love Kratos. It's 15k. I'm gonna get broke just to get Kratos. It's not fun that way. So, boys. <laughs> We go to Twitter and we go to the website. Their website is good. You go in here, and then you just click on those, and then you get to the to the wherever you want to go to. This project is stake, play, win on Injective blockchain. Injective Boys is an NFT project built on the Injective blockchain, offering a unique risk and reward staking game where players earn Boys tokens by staking their Injective Boys NFTs. The project is an in innovative NFT based gaming experience on injective blockchain. It focuses on high risk, high reward gameplay with strategic elements. It gives like some kind of role energy, but role is like gamble. This one has like NFT and staking. It aims to build a dynamic and engaging community of players and investors. So, the token, the main utility token used for staking rewards, participating in raffles, auctions, and future utilities. These guys are also new, as you saw on the Twitter, they have like 6,000. So the total su supply would be 100 million and transparent token allocation with significant airdrops for early adopters and community engagement. 
you guys can just go and know how to play this game if you're interested to buy one of their NPCs is worth like uh, 50 bucks these guys have expensive NFTs baby dojo that's my favorite so far who's not gonna favor this when they give for every dollar 0.42 cents imagine you just put a thousand bucks you would get 420 bucks out of it just just by holding 100 bucks worth of dojo all of them are now one big family baby dojo it appears to be a reflection token built on the cosmos ecosystem tokenomics holders earn passive income in dojo tokens through reflections eight percent of transaction volumes is used by for buybacks and redistribution to holders one percent of transactions are burned and another one percent is added to liquidity so in total there is like ten percent this mechanism aims to create constant buy pressure on dojo and increase its scarcity over time just by holding but baby dojo you are making dojo stronger and you are getting rewards baby dojo positions itself as a perpetual motion machine for dojo buybacks and burns the goal is to passive increase the value of dojo and consequently baby dojo itself however it's important to remember that this is a relatively new and up and unproven concept that's new guys be careful that's all it's actually crucial for you to make your own research don't listen to me and then go buy this stuff i believe in this project dojo and i'm getting all these rewards from it and don't move your things whenever you are you know staking and then the peers snapshot okay don't do that my dimensions and my strategy i had 261 dimension which are worth now like two thousand dollars I staked 150 just be to be on the safe side whenever there is an airdrop from Dimension because I think there will be airdrops from Dimension. It's a roll up. I already explained what it is and why I believe there would be the um, stuff. Valley Dao is doing airdrops just by staking Dimensions with them. Dimension and Prism too. Everyone with Dao would probably have some kind of airdrops. I was like, yeah, let's throw 10 Dimension in here. And Stake City was my favorite so far. I sold 40 tokens of Dimension and I staked them in this farm. I'm getting good APR. My balance $5.81 every day. Uh, I'm not sure how, what, which token should I convert them to because now there's like Punk, Roll, there's Kage, there's so much. I uh, sold some Dimension to put them in here because I was super bullish with the airdrops, especially with this one. And I'm planning on just focusing on Baby Dojo first. And then after that, I will strategize differently. That's it for today, and thank you for watching.